Good to have you with us on this Monday edition of Ed Schultz News and Commentary. Lots happening over the weekend. You know, if you'd look at the mainstream media, you would think that Hillary Clinton is the female version of the Pope or Mother Teresa or Gandhi or, well, I mean, she could do no wrong. It's almost as if the campaign is over with and Hillary is a slam dunk. Get the emails out of the way. Get the testimony out of the way. Oh, yeah, she's against TPP and Keystone, so we've got this thing wrapped up. Hold the phone. Now, there are some serious questions in the Sanders camp right now. What is the best strategy to regain the momentum, or should we say the attention? I don't think that Bernie Sanders has lost any momentum with his supporters or the people that are sending him 5 and 10 and $25, the butcher, the baker, the candlestick maker, the little guy out there who wants a voice, who recognizes that Wall Street is the issue in this campaign. But the fact is, we as consumers in the news business have been smothered with Hillary Clinton accolades, smothered with Hillary Clinton this, that, and the other. Okay, she had great testimony. She dodged a big-time bullet and proved that there is a political machine behind what they were doing to take down her campaign. But what is her campaign about, and is it best for America? So Bernie Sanders on Saturday night focused in on two things at the Jefferson Jackson dinner in Iowa, talking about where his position has been all along on the TPP, the Trans-Pacific Partnership, and also the Keystone XL Pipeline. Here's Bernie on TPP. And let me be clear about the current trade deal that we are debating in Congress, the Trans-Pacific Partnership. That agreement is not now, nor has it ever been, the gold standard of trade agreements. I did not support it yesterday. I do not support it today, and I will not support it tomorrow. See, now now that is a key statement because a lot of people think that Hillary Clinton, whereas she is saying she's against the Trans-Pacific Partnership, that she could move on it. There are fundamental wrongs within this trade deal that will never move Bernie Sanders on this particular deal. The other issue is Keystone. Here it is. And if you agree with me about the urgent need to address climate change, then you know immediately what to do about the Keystone Pipeline. This was not a complicated issue. Should we support the construction of a pipeline across America, accelerating the extraction and transportation of some of the dirtiest fossil fuel in the world, to me, that's a no-brainer, and that's why I have opposed the Keystone Pipeline from day one. So those are the two big issues that Bernie wants to hammer home with supporters, along with the fact that if he's president, he would absolutely do things differently with Wall Street, that he would try to regulate the uh, casino gambling that's taken place there with hedge fund managers. So how is this being received by the Clinton campaign? It seems to me that the Clinton campaign is looking for a narrative to go after Bernie. And those two comments that you just heard from Sanders out on the stump in Iowa is being countered by John Podesta in the Clinton campaign as negative. Uh, I think Bernie Sanders seemed to have a course correction uh, uh, in the JJ dinner from one in which he said he wasn't going to go negative to to obviously uh, focusing his, you know, his fire on her fire on her. What Bernie Sanders is doing is differentiating his campaign, his position on the issues versus Hillary's. There's nothing negative about that. So it seems to me that the Clinton people are still pretty doggone nervous about the fact that these grassrooters are out there supporting Bernie. They continue to grow. He has the money to counterpunch. The question is, how aggressive is he going to get? It would seem to me that Wall Street is the big issue. Wall Street's connected to the Senate. Wall Street's connected to campaign finance. Wall Street's connected to the billionaires. And the billionaires are running our campaigns right now and running our government and kicking out the little guy. Now, if Bernie Sanders can capsulize that in a 30-second piece and drive it home with the American people, I think he's going to continue to grow in his campaign. But being aggressive and not being negative, this is something to watch.